Hey guys, how's it going? So, um, apart from it being cold, yesterday I was in a bit of a prank and um, I'm okay. Nothing seriously happened. Um, no one was injured, medical people didn't need to be called, just a few dings. Numbers were exchanged, did all the legal stuff, reports, insurance, paperwork, oh my god, the paperwork. Anyway, taking the time and the after effects. Now, I was thinking about this this morning, um, where people are like, oh no, you know, if you didn't get injured, all that sort of other stuff, you should be fine. Um, some people, and I'll have to say this, it's the effects, and I'm trying to explain to, you know, Miller people about the effects of things like drop and trying to get people to recognize things like drop and stuff like that. It kind of just, um, occurred to me that, you know, a lot of the after effects of being in an accident from all the adrenaline going through your body, all the chemicals racing through because it's a high stress situation, even if for a small prank, because of the shock of it, um, it's kind of akin to like, uh, drop, uh, where all the chemicals are going through your brain, everything's just going all haywire, and, um, you know, you could be fine for a while and keep on going and then, you know, a couple of days later, all of a sudden you just, you know, things just happen and you just like go, oh, you know, oh my God. And you turn into like a dribbling mess or you get stressed out or really jumpy and things are happening, you don't know what's going on. Even for a small accident, these things can happen. So taking time is important, just like, you know, um, aftercare is important, keeping warm, um, you know, making sure you have people that you can talk to. Um, all that sort of stuff plus you know be aware of of it even the smallest thing and it doesn't have to be a big thing like it's not be a massive accident that you're getting over the shock and the trauma of it could be just a, a small thing like the accident I had in just a second look at that turkey hello turkey hello anyway um, <laughs> got distracted as I do with a cat brain um, because this morning I got up um, and for some reason some things really hurt and I didn't do anything strenuous and and I could think about is is the accident and the effects all those chemicals that I had on previous injuries or accidents and that going through my body um, and the effects that it has things really hurting and aching a lot more than they should so taking time is important um, after you know accidents, shocks, um, drop in BDSM. Um, make sure you uh, keep in touch with people that you care about. If you know you don't have a partner or not with them at the moment, take time off work if you need it. Um, and quite often there's um, there's people I know that they play on the weekends, like on a Saturday, so they always have a Monday off and take time, have good food, rest, put on a few movies, chat to people, really get in touch with everyday people and take time out of life sometimes and really reflect on, you know, what you're doing, where you're at and all that sort of stuff. So I still have a lot of more paperwork to do but that's my take on just having, um, just taking the time out after, you know, drop or play or something shocking that's happened to you and like I said it doesn't have to be um, a massive rollover accident as it wasn't in my case but it can be just something all of a sudden you're, you're there in everyday life and then something unexpected happens it's a shock to the system uh, it's not to say it's traumatic all the time but it's going to be something that you have to think about and your emotions will be up and down because of all the chemicals and readjusting and coping with what you've been through so just keep that in mind. And so I guess I'm thinking is that, you know, what sort of shocks that you've had, like not, it doesn't have to be really traumatic, but it just has to be something that just was completely unexpected that, you know, for a couple of days afterwards, you were just, I don't know, a little out of sorts, a little depressed, a little um, weepy, a little over, I don't know, um, hyper attentive hyper aware um, and think back to okay it wouldn't have been an incident that happened that doesn't have to be an incident that happened that day or immediately afterwards it could be like a few days prior uh, something 
sudden happened. And think about the effects it's had on you and your body, what you did to take care of yourself then. And, um, you know, I do recommend other people journal and uh, keep a, a record of, you know, their thoughts at the time and be able to put it aside. Very therapeutic. Anyway, ironically, it happened on a hump day Wednesday. <laughs> oh my god, I had achieved a lot of stuff yesterday. You definitely got a whole lot of project done and over and on with, but and <coughs> that happened. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. I am going off to do more paperwork. Uh, and think about this whole regional flavours thing that's happening, I think this weekend at South Bank. Regional flavours. All these little tents are covering up at South Bank. Looks interesting. See you guys. Bye.